Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing another matchstick video. Um, as you can see from the last video, it's kind of changed just a little bit. I've uh, stripped down some matches off this side and I've built up this side a little bit. Uh, this is actually a very tiny bedroom here. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to walk around in it. Uh, just uh, scale reference from the bottom sides to here. And uh, I, I call this like the Anne Frank room because I think of it in like this tiny little hidden room even though there's a window here uh, and you'd be able to tell there was a room there okay I'm just gonna show how I'm kinda figuring out the the roof and how to set it up I've, like this match here that goes across that's the only match that's glued on these are just kinda like sitting here and they're just kinda precariously piled on here try not to Jenga this so I'm just I'm laying this across here and then I'm gonna figure out what angle this match should go on to. Okay, so I got these matches to dry it up and in place. I've got these two cut to, to go on the corners like this. But when I was cutting them, I realized I got ahead of myself and I forgot to put the wallpaper on. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit difficult once I've started the roof, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I got the wallpaper up. I'm not 100% happy with it. Uh, one of the reasons is this big blank canvas right here, this big big open thing. I try to break it up with some uh, random greens. Uh, I don't I don't know what they would be. Some kind of mold, some kind of like discoloration of the wallpaper. Um, there will be a video of me painting this and kind of talking about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, so keep an eye out for that. I've got a shelf up now. And I wanted to make it look like it had uh, recently fallen, not not so much recently, like within the last couple. Anyway, it's it's fallen, um, so you can kind of see where the wallpaper's been dirty, and it fell. My dad's got a new stereo system or surround sound system, so you can hear it booming in the background. They're watching Where's the Millers. Anyway, you can see where the uh, the shelf used to be, and the wallpaper is a little bit cleaner. It hasn't gone through such the wearing and you can still see the the green stripes like I had initially talked about the wallpaper uh, had a bunch of green stripes which is modeled after some wallpaper my great grandmother had in her house um, yeah so I've built a book it's waterlogged and moldy looking if you want to learn how to build a, uh, a little miniature book such as this I have a video I will uh, put a link in the description maybe put something right there um, this is a lot smaller than those books, but you can make them any size you want. I've built my second book, and I'm extremely pleased with this. I love the way it looks. It's actually a book with some pages under it, which I'm going to lay down just somewhere. I made it look, uh, moldy. I painted on, a, a reddish, orange kind of thing. I've actually painted on whatever this one is and then with a with my scalpel ow god I just, the one I just stuck into my finger um, I took this one and I scraped the corners down and then I took uh, you don't have to do that I, I did it to to wear the cover off to, to, to have some of the paper showing underneath it um, that's covering the cardboard not the, the pages uh, so it looked like the book had been really water worn and scuffed up uh, and then I painted mold over it which kind of covered that up but I don't mind I took a black acrylic paint and I kind of just dabbed it on there with a with this brush here it's a flat end but I used just the tip and I kind of just patted it on there got the black down and then I tapped it with some white uh, to really make it look moldy if you've ever seen books or paper mold uh, it'll have the white on there and then the page is just a green watercolor and some black and white as well and I'll have this on the floor so I've built the two books for the bookshelf and the floor and now I want to build a candle now I was I was thinking about ways to make this and the, I could have used clay and all this other stuff but I want to kind of stick with matchstick material so I've carved this one down uh, it's got some curves and stuff into it to make it actually look like a candle 
and then this one is the butt end of a larger match. This small one was one of the smaller matches that come out of the small boxes. This one is the butt end of a match and I've drilled a hole into it so that the candle actually sits into it there. And what I did is I held this with tweezers and I kind of rolled it around onto some emery board that you filed your nails with to get it rounded. And then I took a, a little tiny drill bit, which is amazing to have around. And I just kind of drilled down into it and then I used a hobby knife to, to, to stab into the sides of the hole to kind of actually make it um, cylindrical. The, uh, the drill bit's too large and just makes kind of like a, a dip. So that's how that's going on. Now I'm going to take some wood glue and kind of cover it a little bit and uh, glue it together and then use wood glue to make it look um, like it's got dripping wax and stuff. I can't really get this any closer than this. My camera won't focus. But what I've done was I glued this the candlestick to its actual base and I've taken my scalpel which has a, has a very nice point. It's great for uh, scooping some wood glue and putting it wherever I want very precisely. And it's not exactly focusing but you can see the kind of globs down the, the candlestick and it makes it look like wax running down and then sitting on top of the base. I've got the books in place and then the bookshelf there. And I've also added uh, a pillow and blanket. The blanket looks all white because there's a lot of glue on it and it needs to dry up. And then the pillow is pressed in the corner there. So how I did this was I took some more of the pillowcase which was used for that curtain. I uh, it's really hard to get miniature things to uh, fold and move like uh, to scale so like um, for leather to get it to fold properly you would layer down latex and then use that um, for the blanket the, the pillowcase I took and soaked it in water so I could uh, move it and get the right kind of wrinkles uh, a lot easier with a uh, the tip of a, a paintbrush I moved it around with a paintbrush um, got it to a place I liked and then kind of just uh, uh, dab some glue on it let that set up for a little bit and then I put it into a bucket added some water and then poured some glue in there and let it kind of soak in and then I laid that down let that dry up a bit cover the bottom in glue stuck it into place that pillowcase over there is also made out of the same material it's just been painted red to add some variety between the uh, all this fabric I then it was a, a long strip. I took some paper towel off this. I cut a, a, a pretty good chunk off that, folded it up, put it on there, and then wrapped the uh, the cloth around it. I glued it down, and then uh, the paper towel allows it to, to move and fold right. It's not so stiff. It's uh, been kind of wetted down after it's been painted, so I could press it in there, and it's covered in glue. And then, uh, so once that dries up, I'm going to paint the mold on there, and that'll be done. And then the only thing left is the candlestick I need to, to do up. I've also taken, you can see on the book, the book's got uh, AF. I've named this room the Anne Frank room, so that's kind of like her diary, but it's, it's just a book. It doesn't really have to be her diary. Anyway, I put some uh, like nail holes in the wall there from where the uh, shelf used to be. I'm thinking about putting a couple holes in the wall with a, like a poster was there. I just took my scalpel and poked it in there. Now you're probably never going to see this stuff. That amount of detail with the, with the roof, it's going to be very hard to see it. But I like knowing it's there. It's kind of cool and, it, and it's fun to put all this little details and stuff in there. Like that book, you probably won't ever see the mold and stuff on it. And it's kind of hard to see these the pillowcase and stuff. So you probably won't see all the detail on that, but that's fine. I, I just really like the process of making it, putting it together. So I finished that candle. I got that glue dried up. I painted it black, and then I took a piece of yarn and glued it to the top. And then when I put it down, I didn't, it just didn't look good with that round base thing. So I put it on here, and I'm building it up 
with uh, some more wood glue and slowly shaping it uh, making it look like wax is dripping all over the thing so that that would explain why it didn't fall off when these books did it was uh, melted to the shell okay I got a bunch of this stuff put in here I built a tiny Jack Daniels bottle I used uh, a I used a matchstick for the cap. I used uh, the blister pack that I used for the window over here. I just cut it uh, into a strip, folded it over four times so it made a square. Uh, did that for the neck and then did some fancy cutting so that the uh, that ridge would be angled. I got the pillow and blanket all molded. The books, the candles on there and painted. I like the way that turned out. Um, I didn't add any more holes in the wall like that one. Um, yeah. I finished the roof. I spent all day working on this thing. And I can't really like touching it. I don't know why. It's got a, a lot like a, a lot of wood glue seep through. So it's a really kind of like plastic coated. Kind of really like it. It's not exactly the the s steepest slope I was thinking it was gonna be. I, I kind of thought it would. But anyway, uh, I still really liked how it turned out. Kind of gave it somewhat of a design. It really makes the bedroom dark. This thing's got like a blue light on it. You can kind of see it. Right? kind of creepy looking at it like this so yeah that's the uh, the roof now I guess it's time to start on the rest of this house and that'll be the next video so that's the end of this video you should follow me on Twitter where I upload photos as I go link is in the description uh, and I'm gonna leave you with a couple photos I've taken with my iPhone of the inside of this this house that I kind of really like. So here you go, and I will see you guys later.